There is an awfully pretty picture down there. That is really something. You see what I'm looking at down there? The lake's in the background, a little draw right there. Right down there in that draw. Mr. Forrest, his big giant, whatever I figured out he was, 14 point rack. Seven and five, 12 point rack maybe. And then all around him, all around him was a big bunch of turkeys. Now, as I zoom in on him and started talking, I'm, you know, 75 yards from him, I'm not close, but the turkeys are walking off in the distance. Can't really tell, but just like looking at the size of those turkeys, they might all be gobblers, I don't know. I don't see, can't tell when they're walking away. Mr. Forrest, he's gonna come this way. Turkeys are going the other way. Mr. Forrest hears me talking. He's just coming up here to see if Jimmy's got some carrots. Isn't that beautiful though as he comes through the woods? Oh, look over there, there's another one. Another one, oh yeah, fat boy. How many of you hunters would like to be in a tree stand right now with your PSE bow in your hand? See this come walking through the woods. First of all, if you see him come walking through the woods and you see that cr green crown that he has on, please do not stick an arrow behind his front leg. Definitely don't do that. Look at that though. Is that spectacular or is that spectacular? Getting so close I have to back up a little bit. Ha, 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 ha. Come up and eat a leaf off the ground. No, he didn't get that leaf picked up. That's gorgeous. And who's the other guy out here? We saw another one back there. Where is he? There he is. There he is right there. Ha, 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 ha. I believe that's fat boy. He is definitely fat. Look at that belly on that rascal. And look at the rack. Just a beautiful, big, beautiful eight point. You know, if you get an eight point up around 150 or 160 score, that's a really spectacular eight point. That guy won't get there. Uh, he won't get to that. But he's probably a good one. I don't know. 130s, maybe 140, on, I doubt it. They're pretty big around though, but that's beautiful. But what a great way to start out this week, watching giant deer antlers grow, or antlers, we got some elk antlers growing as well. But what a great week to start this out on uh, Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch channel here on YouTube. Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters on Facebook. Look how fat he is. He just rolls up to the side when he did that. Did you see that? Share this with all your friends. Uh, we're kind of stagnant on that ranch channel on YouTube. We've been 125,000 people on there forever, it seems like. We are not uh, the favorite channel or the favorite type person for YouTube, and so they really don't give us many breaks. They don't share us or put us on too many people's feed unless somebody's already subscribed. But we love all the subscribers, but share this with a few of your friends. Let's see if we can get that up there to two or 300,000. And uh, we spend an awful lot of time on it. Enjoy sharing what blessings God's given us here on this earth. And that's one of them right there, getting to look at that big boy in the wild. Deer was born in the wild, totally wild, no tag. Never been in a pen, and he's gorgeous. Mr. TC made it around to the front, and he joins his son Forrest in the prayer circle. And it looks like that uh, Fat Boy or somebody else is in there with him. Kind of looks like Fat Boy, I guess. Look at Forrest. I mean, look at TC. Looks like TC been working on those antlers so we got another tree tore up on the ranch somewhere or two or three look at all the turkeys come running in here look at the turkeys come running in <laughs> that's a while before that feeder goes off that turkey right here by the house is working on some of that seed that is planted in that um, waterless garden can see where we planted here coming up and really 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 good I mean really coming up big time we've got an awful lot of seeds spread out there I say a lot not really a lot but we have scattered seed in that scattered seed over there where there's no grass at all and it's beginning to grow as well and 
turkey, and bucks. What a way to get this week started. Turkeys and bucks. I love it. It's gorgeous right there. The fall is an incredible time of the year. DC said, I've been out wandering around all night. I think I'll just lay down and relax a little bit. Carrying a lot of weight around on those four legs. Mr. Forrest is as well. Looks like Forrest is thinking about laying down. I don't know if I'll lay down or I'll munch on the grass a little bit. Not sure. Not sure. I know one thing. That's a beautiful way to start another great day that God has given us. Look at that velvet hanging from the end of his antlers out there. He's perfectly happy. Hey, he's living in paradise as well. Living in heaven. Yes, he is. But they've all laid down out there now. Three big, beautiful bucks, all with hard horns. It's the middle of September. Pretty much the velvet is gone. So that signals the beginning of the rut. They're still buddies, they're still running together, still not fighting with each other. I haven't really seen anybody even kind of sparring around, but that will start probably this week. I guess we'd have to have pretty much all the velvet gone before that starts. But you can see that there's four, three big beauties laying there. Mr. Forrest with his green crown, looking gorgeous. His father, a little bit of velvet left, but pretty much all gone. Force has been, he got hard antlers last week. And I believe there's a little left there on Fat Boy. But everybody's looking pretty good. Everybody is laying down. That's a prick right, prick picture right there. That's a pick right there. Definitely a pick. Beautiful. May the prayers begin in the prayer circle on Twin Eagle Ranch. My man, Mr. Forrest. He is the only deer I see out there this morning. I haven't really looked around a lot. There was some out on the lake side, but on the house side, Mr. Forrest is laying in one of his favorite areas the prayer circle and he is just gorgeous he's just gorgeous he's so comfortable anywhere he is right around the house he's not afraid of much of anything around here and looking around i don't know there's another big buck laying off out there didn't see him but i see him now i don't see anybody else Texas hunter feeder is not going off. That's a big boy land right there. No doubt about that. That is a big boy. And that is a big boy. What a beauty. He is some fine specimen of a giant antlered deer. What a great sight. The feeder has gone off. <laughs> Everybody's eating feed off the ground. Big bunch of turkeys out there. Several bucks. And Mr. Forrest is uh, there saying, why didn't somebody come out and give me my pile of food? Do I have to eat like a regular deer? Do I have to eat off the ground like a regular deer? Do I have to do that? Or a turkey? What am I, a turkey? No, I'm a big, beautiful buck. I'm like the star of the entire ranch. I'm the guy. I'm the man. I'm just going to wait right here. I'm not going to go over there and eat with the rest of them. I'm going to wait right here until Apache or Jimmy or somebody comes out and pours me down a pile of food to eat my own food. Look at that white around his eyes. That was always pretty even when he was a baby. That white around his eyes. But look at that. Is that gorgeous? What a way. What a way to start a day. One little baby out there. She's got used to that feeder going off at 9 o'clock every day. Just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's deer and turkey both back in behind the feeder and behind that tree that we can't see. You can see things moving down underneath. That's an antler you're seeing down there moving a little bit underneath that. 
turkey and baby deer back behind the feeder. Just absolutely a great, great way to start another great day. Deer on further out there in the woods. Just the life, the world comes to, comes alive early in the morning. I see the deer all during the night as well, you know, out in the yard around the, between the house and the lake. But this is a morning ritual that, I don't know, I guess I'll get tired of looking at this someday. It's kind of like looking at uh, your beautiful wife. You never get tired of that. You absolutely never get tired of it. Never get tired of seeing a bass grab a spinnerbait or sitting that hook, do you? <laughs> I never get tired of this. Some of y'all probably get tired of me shooting this shot right here, but it's different every day. It's a unique picture. Maybe the same players, but they're always in a different act of the play. Incredibly beautiful. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'd say this is a perfect way to end another perfect day. And uh, I'm looking at one, two big bucks down there, three eight bucks, I guess. Uh, Mr. Forrest was out here as I glanced down here just a little bit ago. He might be down there behind the trees on the edge of the water, I don't know. I uh, see that it looks like that TC, Thunder Cloud, has still got velvet hanging from his horns. It looks like that, I guess this little buddy back behind him, it looks like his horns are white and hard. And I guess that's the forest right there, speaking of forest. Well, I think I, I saw four bucks out here a minute ago as I glanced out right here before it got dark. And I guess one of them has walked on or he might be behind something over here. I don't know. But... Look, look at the way that guy walks, will you? It just walks like he's king of the mountain. Look at that. Is that beautiful? That's an old ear, seven or eight years old. That's what the hunters all over America are looking for, seven or eight year old buck. Where'd the others go? Now there's that other buck way down there. He was down there in those bushes. I knew I saw four out here. They probably hear me talking and think I'm over there and gonna give them some food. Uh, surely they see me standing up here. You notice how much different he walks than that other one. As they get older and bigger, and this is deer right here is probably four years old. He's probably the same age as Forrest. He's an eight point and that's pretty much all he is. Now, I guess he'll be an eight point every year, but he just gets bigger and fatter. Look at his belly hanging down there. Look, he gets some f f f fat rolls around his neck beauty what can I say and well he was there somewhere oh there he is there he is and that's about as good a looking four-year-old deer as you can see in the state of Oklahoma and his mama is in Oklahoma his daddy's an Oklahoma deer his mama was an Iowa deer and they produced a champion right there at least I think he's a champion. He thinks he's a champion as well because I told him he is. It's kind of like your kids. Keep telling your kids they're champions. And you know what they'll grow up to be? They'll grow up to be a champion. Keep telling them that. Even when they fail, you're a champion.